live on Instagram, I'm at that one. and we're live on Facebook. Uh, I feel like The Rock and um, Kevin. <laughs> I'll do Instagram, you do Facebook. Okay. Hello, Instagram. How's Hello. everybody doing? You should be doing it at the same time. <laughs> Right. I'm trying to do an I'm trying to do a live on Facebook. All right, yeah. so today I wrote a post about cake. Very weird about cake. I had no idea any of that was happening, which was interesting. We had a bit of a talk about that, about you know what it's like to be with somebody and in a situation where, you know, unless you have a conversation or talk about what's going on, you know, I was just watching a movie. <laughs> watching a Christmas movie on Netflix. And the whole time. Operation Christmas Drop. You horrible. need a little Christmas quote on your little board behind you. A I little do. Christmas quote on the board behind us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I can't see our Instagram. <coughs> uh, Lisa. Lisa's joined. Is Lisa on both? No. no. Just, I don't know. I can't tell that. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Um, I'm just going to talk to Lisa. So, Lisa, how's your day? <laughs> Stripping Connor out. <laughs> um, um, so, so, I was um, feeling very overwhelmed. I was feeling scared. I was feeling hmm. worried. I was feeling all of these emotions. Mm -hmm. And when I get to that, those emotions, I feel like... I need to eat so then I can numb and avoid and lessen it somehow. But nothing is ever solved in a fucking piece of cake. It's true. <laughs> so I didn't eat the cake. Yep. I thought of 10,000 ways to get to the cake. I thought of how it would taste, what it would feel like. All the things, how I would feel before I ate the cake, when I was eating cake, after I ate the cake. And then I was like, no, I'm not doing it. And I even said to Connor, he's sitting there and just randomly, I'm like, are you going downstairs? Literally just, I'm just like in bed <laughs> watching a movie. We're about three quarters in. And she's like, are you going downstairs? I'm like, no, I'm laying here. <laughs> 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 And if he was going downstairs, I was going to ask him to bring me cake. And then he she wouldn't know. Yeah, she never told me why. And I was just like, nope. <laughs> I was just like, I just kind of let it sit. And then I was like, all right, well, we started watching the movie. <laughs> but if I had asked her and she just said, you know, oh, because if you're going downstairs, you know, I was thinking maybe we could have some of that birthday cake I made or whatever, I probably would have went downstairs and gone for it because I want her to be happy. <laughs> you know, I like doing things for her and that type of stuff. So it puts me in a situation, and we've had these conversations before, where it's like, okay, well, you know, am I the asshole because I'm not doing the thing, or am I the asshole because I did the thing, and I, you know, became a feeder, and um, the one is, true. You know, is I it my words. reason? <laughs> yeah. Am I the reason that, you know, you ate that cake? Because if I hadn't gotten it for you, then you wouldn't have got it, eaten it in the first place, so... It's all yeah. my own Your choice. Your mind will play all kinds of fun little tricks on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so what's it like living with a food addict? Um, I, I don't never live with anybody else as far as <laughs> other than like my parents or whatever, so I'm used to it. But I would imagine that it's similar to living with any other type of an addict <laughs> in the sense that, again, things can be fine everything is good no problem and then all of a sudden it's like that sort of thing creeps up and it's like all right you know is this an addiction is this something that is unhealthy that is driving this motivation or is it you know just wants a piece of cake no big deal no worries right so it's like if you just asked me it's like oh you know if you're going downstairs you know there's cake in the fridge if you're still hungry if you're gonna get one get me one <laughs> That could have very well been, and then I read your post this morning, and I was like, I was sitting in the room, I had no idea that all these anxiety and all these nerves and all this stuff was going on, and you know, you thought that the solution to that was to have cake. I was like, yeah, a little <laughs> bit taken aback this morning, because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, like we were in this whole interaction between the two of us, and only one of us knew what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I was sitting, I have a chair, and then we have our bed, and Connor was sitting in the bed, and mm -hmm. I was sitting in the chair, and I just started to, like, start replaying the pandemic, and all the things going on, and just, it 
started to feel really overwhelming and then I started to feel scared and worried and then I, one of my friends had a really successful launch of a product and I was happy for her and then yes. and then I was um, the heart in Cloverdale. The heart in Cloverdale, Annie, I'm Christensen. And I was just ecstatic and then I was like, oh, my kids, you know, they're homeschooled, are they going to be fucked up for life? And just all of these things started flooding in and the first thing I thought of was, well, I'll just go eat cake. I'll just eat cake and I'll feel better and then I won't have to worry about all the shit. It'll be fine. Sorry. And then I couldn't articulate to Connor what I what I was thinking and I should have just talked to him, but yeah, for me it, to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but for me it was just too much. So I just randomly out of the blue, I just would have like, I want cake. <laughs> and I would have been like, pause. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on? <laughs> and it's just, it's so, sometimes it's just random. Like, mm -hmm. I could be as happy as anything, and then within seconds, just switch off to, holy fuck, the world is falling, and I need some type of escape. So, yeah, it's hard. And then, the whole time... Like, right until we went to bed, I was just like, I should just eat the cake. I should just eat the cake. I just eat the cake. And then I was like, no. So I went into um, a Facebook, our Facebook group, the Bombshell Beautifuls, and I just started reading their posts. Every single one from October 1st all the way till last night. And just started reading, like, the inspiration and their struggles and their wins and the things that they're celebrating and all the different things. And it just brought me back to... This is what I do. This is my why. This is, you know, the reason that I do what I do. No cake is going to make anything better. No cake is going to take away the anxiety. No cake is going to do all the things. I need to show up for myself and for these ladies. Like, they show up every single day in the group. Mm -hmm. And so eating the cake would have just put me back. And, and even you said this morning, you're like, well, you could have just had a little piece of cake and then mm -hmm. moved on. And I'm like, that's not what a food addict does. That yeah, and you said, like, no, I couldn't have. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like yeah. that, that again was a resonation to me. Or... That would have been permission mm -hmm. to eat the rest of the cake today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. until it was gone. Yeah. Today the cake needs to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, um, it's just, I have to have certain things set up for myself so I know that I'm... Um, that I don't eat the cake, that I, you know, that I am successful in the goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And some days they get the better of you, and some days, you know, you go to your Facebook group of extraordinary, beautiful, awesome, strong women who support. support you and have accountability. And they always say that I'm the inspiration to them, but truly they're the inspiration to me. Like, I am so thankful for every single one of them. They just don't even know how much I appreciate all of the love and support that they show in the group and to me and to our business and just supporting us. It's so amazing. And that's what really got me through. I mean, I still thought about the cake <laughs> and, you know, right up until I went to sleep, but um, it was yep. way less. It was way lighter. It was way because I, I just read through all of the posts and kind of like, yeah, this is amazing. This, is, you know, I don't need cake. I just need, this like I just need these words these you know people that are doing this right along with me mm -hmm. and sometimes it's hard to talk to you because you're not on that journey and you've never experienced that before yeah well yeah you made a comment yesterday you were like oh it was like oh, are you feeling okay you haven't been eating like your whole dinner I'm like yeah I didn't want to feel stuffed so I stopped eating and I put it in the fridge and then I'll have some of it for lunch today <laughs> I just think, too, that mm -hmm. you're trying to gain weight, right? So yeah. I was like, if you slow down your eating, like, you, you, were, you were eating a lot more before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was more thinking of, like, a muscle gainer type thing, not yeah. like as a stuff yourself situation. And the other thing was, and then, yeah, like, right before I went to bed, I'm like, oh, I have to go downstairs to do X, Y, and Z. I'm like, oh, I am going downstairs now. What was the thing that you wanted? And you were like, oh, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, and again, in this particular case, we're talking about a birthday cake. But, you know, that means a million different things to a million different people. 
as far as you know that thing that they know that could potentially trigger them. And it could be a spiral pink toast. Or it could be that's where are we talking about your village, right? Yeah. yeah. It could um, be a drink. It could be anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just I'm human. Like <laughs> mm-hmm. we're all human, and we're all doing the best we can in every single moment. And sometimes it's all sunshine and roses and sometimes it's fucking hard like mm-hmm. yeah. yesterday was hard mm-hmm. but I sometimes I think you're freaking out because I thought it was going to snow too no, you know what though I don't have to drive that's a good point so I didn't have to freak out about the snow that's I didn't funny. have to coordinate all my we had to drive to, to buy a snow shovel and get um, <laughs> salt for the big snowstorm Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me to be here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there and look pretty. Uh, Crystal, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it does put sometimes the husband or the significant other in a situation where it's like, oh, yeah, grab me the thing. And then I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, do I actually go grab the thing or do I not grab the thing? And then we potentially have a fight about how... You know, that's not what it's about, and I just wanted blah, 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 Like yesterday, we could have very well had a fight about cake, because if I, you had said that you wanted cake, and I turned it into a, well, you probably shouldn't have cake right now, who knows where we'd be. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be talking for three days. We're pretty good, though, about... No, no, absolutely, and I get, that's, I think that's where the community, we've learned, we've been together for over 20 years, right? Yeah. So we've learned that... The communication is the key for everything. So I can't know what you're thinking and you're feeling unless you tell me and vice versa. And yeah, there are absolutely times. We're not perfect. Nobody is. So there are definitely times where, you know, the thing isn't said and then it sort of festers. And then you get that sort of feeling in the back of your neck like something isn't right right now. I was able to do that. My screen, it's hard to see in the room. <laughs> Throw back to a couple of lives ago. <laughs> There you go. That's fine. Um, Instagram doesn't know what's happening because <laughs> they can't see that my hands have got off. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, it can put the other person in a situation where they're like, uh, "This is a slippery slope." Because do I support my partner or do I put my foot down and you know be the person who is the responsible one in this particular circumstance? Because I know that this could be a trigger or whatever. Yeah, my gut feeling mm. is put your foot down. Yeah, but then it's also it's my responsibility. Yeah. like it's my choice what I do with my body, with my life. True. And you know, at the end of the day, only I can make those decisions. Mm. So I can't put that on you. I was like, you know, you have to tell me when to eat, when to blah 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 blah. At the end of the day, I'm a grown up. That's like, true. <laughs> I gotta do my own thing. So, mm. and I don't want to be somebody slapping cake out of your mouth. And. <sighs> Probably one of the reasons I didn't want to tell you uh-huh. last night is just I just didn't feel like talking about it. Uh, there you go. I just didn't feel like even know how to start the conversation because then you would have went into like, yeah. Oh well, this is my projection. You would have went into like, fix I'm it. gonna fix it and I'm gonna make it all better and blah blah blah, blah. and then it would have turned into like talking about money and business and I was just like I was so done with the day that I just didn't want to go back and rehash the whole entire day again. So. Makes sense. That's probably why I didn't want to say anything. And I just kind of Good did my face. process. We've seen each other already this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you did a private training session with Face this morning. She killed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did not eat cake. Nice. Kristen, that's how I feel about Halloween candy right now. I can't stop myself, but Throw it's away. fair to the kids to get rid of it. I should be able to say no to those tiny chocolate bars. Uh, I'm, uh, my kids deserve cake, but I'm gonna throw it out. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's my cake. <laughs> <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> I don't get a decision. There's no choice. Go eat the cake now. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> go eat cake for breakfast. Well, that's the thing, though. The the fact that I haven't eaten sugar or haven't had sweets and so I would talk about this a couple days ago is that you know I can't have a giant piece of cake I can only have a little bit because the 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 sweetness of it is actually like off-putting to me so like a little bit of cake is fine but yeah I couldn't eat there's half a cake in the fridge right now 
Okay, so no, the I... first, like, on his birthday when we had cake, right, he needs to go. I had a small <clears throat> piece, <throat> and I couldn't eat the icing, it was way too sweet. Yeah. But last night, if I would have went down and had that cake, it would have been me, the plate, the cake, and a fork, and just, like, shoveling it. That's how emotionally bad I wanted out of that situation, out of that headspace. Like, that's, I just needed to numb. And so, like, there's a difference between having a piece of cake and having the entire cake. Tell them eat your candy instead of eat your veggies. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it's funny because when you're like, oh, I'll get rid of it, whatever, then my trigger is, well, I don't want to waste it. So I oh. come from that position where everything is, we keep everything, we, you know, because you never know when the scarcity is coming and whatever. So, yeah. Like when you're like throw it away and like oh my god there's people in Africa that don't have this that automatically don't have my there. shitty cake yeah. <laughs> don't they're probably have better off blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah I just like and then I like feel guilty about you know throwing something away that someone else could potentially have that's my own trick yeah we we deal with that a lot here I'm a very much like if you haven't used it get rid of it yeah. don't eat it do what you got to do get rid of it. <laughs> and Connor's like got every little piece of paper and every little yeah. cable and thing and he's Keep got the ball and boxes everywhere and it's like mm -hmm. that's his process it's true <laughs> mm -hmm. I like literally touch it once if I haven't touched it again it's out <laughs> yeah um, that's just our, our, our world yeah a little bit more insight into us every time we do one of these. <laughs> let's just go live and see what happens <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock every day. If there's a topic that you guys want to, want yeah, to give us topics. <laughs> Some mornings we sit here and we're like, okay, what are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? Uh, I didn't want to talk about cake today. No, she's like, I don't want to talk about cake. I'm like, literally, people that are on the journey need to know that you know we all struggle. Yeah, but sometimes like sometimes you don't want to talk about it and have a breakdown on a live right here. I can feel it. I can see it. Yep. <laughs> All right. <sighs> oh, I just remembered that Instagram is on there. Sorry, Instagram. <laughs> I was looking this way. I haven't even looked up. <laughs> we gotta get it. Uh, uh, yeah. We're still learning this whole process. That's yeah, so. true. Um. What do we got going on today? It's Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday used to be a slow day. It's relatively slow. I've got, I had personal training and then we did the lift class, which we had a lot of people try lift for the first time and they did fantastic. Mm -hmm. Killed it. Uh, Kristen was in that class. She is in the room, or in the room right now. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, we did lower body stuff. So booty, abs, and cardio. And then I have middle of the afternoon off for the most part, and then the evening starts and I train right through. On Tuesday? Personal training. Yeah, I have personal training in the morning. I have Tuesday. Yeah, Natalie's doing the evening class. I don't. Tuesday is my slower day. Mm -hmm. Tuesday is my deal with the kids' day, get all their homework projects, stuff off to the races. Oh. End of the year. Pause due to poor connection. Ah. Story of our life. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have a great connection. <laughs> I was uh, to say this morning, Confucius. I don't know. What? Confucius said. Confu <laughs> <laughs> Do you look at it's yours? Oh! <laughs> a terrible time for me. Oh, well, we should just change it then. Kids to school. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a personal attack on you. Kristen, I love you. She's just saying that that is not a good time of the day for her. That's funny. But it's a, it's a live. You can watch it anytime. That's a good want. point. 
It's alive and it's a recorded. And it's going on 20 minutes. So we're going to go. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Have an amazing Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Take yes. that Tuesday. Yep. Um, so. We did a lot. Take yeah. that Tuesday. I didn't eat cake. There you go. That was yesterday, but that's fine. Although you haven't eaten cake yet. So. <laughs> I'm not eating cake. I'm going to throw Take that cake. Tuesday and throw I will cake uh, put it on Instagram as I throw it in the garbage. All right. I'm going <laughs> to go right. eat some of that cake. Right now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>